Lately, I've been thinking about vodka sodas, which may surprise you, but there's a reason for that. I think there are two things that are important when it comes to cocktails or any drink or any food or anything in, the, in life. And one is to enjoy what you like. If you like it, don't let anyone else tell you it's wrong. Have it, have it the way you like, have it when you like, nothing wrong with that. And number two is to try new things because without trying new things, you won't know what those things are that you like. What does this have to do with vodka sodas? Let's find out. Hey everybody, today I want to talk about probably the simplest drink there is, and that's the highball. I've only come around to highballs quite recently, and I found them a great summer drink. And they're really versatile, and they work with a bunch of different spirits, and that's really what brings us to the vodka soda, because the vodka soda is basically a highball. It's a base spirit, and some sparkling water, and maybe a garnish. And like just about anything in cocktails, the Japanese have taken the highball and made it its own art form. The kind of water they use, the way they prepare it, you can get it canned, you can get special dispensers that are given to certain bars. And a lot of the highballs these days are made with Japanese whiskey, and it's a fantastic option. I'm gonna be making it with bourbon, and I really wanna show you just how simple it is. I'm gonna be using the um, method and proportions from Jim Meehan's Bartender Manual, which is a fantastic, fantastic book. I absolutely love this book. And here's all you need, your base spirit and your soda water. So we're gonna take two ounces of our bourbon. And we're gonna do three ounces of the soda water. And then I'm gonna grab a couple of ice cubes. That's it, really. Give it a little stir. Now you can garnish this, you don't have to. I often use uh, a little bit of lemon zest. Um, today I'm gonna use a little bit, a little sprig of mint and lay that on top. And there you go. And it's just such a great example of how when you have the right ingredients, you don't need a lot of them to make a great drink. You can really do this with anything. You're basically just adding, you're lengthening the drink, you're adding, you're opening up, opening it up a bit, obviously adding dilution and some, some spritz to it. You can also do it with still water if you wanted. And it's just a, it's just a great lighter alternative. Uh, if you didn't want to have a beer, if you didn't want to have a lot of sugar, uh, added sugar in something with like adding ginger ale or ginger beer. Uh, so this is just going to be super fast. I really wanted to share this with you because I've been drinking a lot of these this summer and I think it's a great option. Try it with your favorite spirit and see what you like. And I hope you found this useful and interesting. Like I said, super quick, super easy. Until next time, cheers.